Hello everyone. So this is the uh, Barlo stamp standard received recently. So it has two manual now, standard one and standard two. So the manual is pretty nice, color. They designed the manual differently this time. So each project uh, have uh, three phases. Hopefully you can see this. Basic phase, application phase, and practical phase. And then also the design within each phase, they have several uh, stages. And then we have, think about it, introduce your robot, make your robot, and then go to uh, programming, troubleshooting, problem solving, and the way they design is within each of these phase, whenever appropriate, they insert these stations in it. So that means uh, as you read through, a certain concept, a certain technique uh, reinforce each time you go through the phase. So the approach is like a spiral coming up, coming up, coming up. So it looks like designed to help student master such concept uh, breath-wise, also depth, with some depth also. The standard series uh, looks like seven chapter, so seven project. The extended one uh, looks like uh, about nine more. The standard series, uh, mostly they're wheels because it, they give only two servo, so they're useful wheels. You can convert some of them using four ball linkages to make a, a sort of a walking robot, but they're not truly a multi link robot like you can do in the uh, bioloid system. In the expansion series, looks like uh, they give you more stuff, so uh, more serve, regular servo, probably a A to an A probably, and you can have your old walking bioloid, you have grippers and launchers and stuff. So they have the regular check assembly type, check out the thing, uh, standard how to use screwdriver, you know how to insert the nut in and that sort of thing. Uh, this system have all of parts so they still use the same roller rivet if you happen to be used starting from the all of system. A little basic uh, programming guy, how to connect the connector and some simple troubleshooting to make sure the con uh, controller is working properly. And then a little preview of what you can do with the standard and then with expansion. So here we go in the first project. So a robot long sequence. So this basic phase one one. First phase, think about it. You go through, introduce your robot. They have various examples the dial and how to mount the wheel. And then get started and let's start building. So the color is nicer this time, paper smoother. Uh, the the in uh, the contrast between parts are pretty good uh, compared to the auto manual. So essentially just building constructions. So once you build your bot, then you can 
playing with it. So, robot in motion. That's another stage within the first phase. Download the code and then check the code, see how it's working. Uh, that's some more practice example. No, no, some notes for it. And then we go to phase stage three, more activity, problem solving. Essentially, apply the existing code to see how you can do other things. And then uh, challenge the student a little bit. Let's say if uh, you want the robot to trace something, how you combine them, start thinking about it. And eventually they have one in the extended uh, box that can do this. And then they close the first phase with some more uh, general robot information learn about the technology behind it. Here they talk about some uh, robot server and automation welder. So next uh, the phase would be chapter 2. No, not really. I mean the phase 1, 2. This is more concentrated. It will be concentrated more on the programming aspect. So you can see same thing again. Think about it first. And then, in previous thing, uh, think about more about building the robot. Now thinking more about building algorithm. So you have standard flow charts, stuff like that. So to get into the more detail and about how let's learn programming, more and more robot task, task tools. And then more stuff. Go into more detail for syntaxes and stuff. Analog to switches, parallel, and in series. And then let's make the robot move. And then we'll go back to stage three again. Have some problem solving. More advanced example, more advanced uh, tasks to do. And then same thing again. They combine, let's say, what happened if you want to go on it, so an input the rod, how you would do that, how you would think about solving the problem, and then thinking of something else design your own. Finally the end, the ad, some more advanced uh, concept robot math. Here essentially they're trying to solve uh, a chest, moving uh, the chest piece on a chessboard kind of problem. And then finally phase one three, so phase three of every project and get them into more uh, advanced problem, creatively solve problem. So once again, think about it. They approach this concept. And then they, let's look into the robot movement in more detail. Essentially in this particular example, uh, uh, more fancy maneuvers. And to stay true for troubleshooting, they start playing a game, just moving some cup first, and then they move into a stick bowling example. They create a game rules for it, and then you can have a competition. So you have bringing different groups to get things a bit more excited. And then enhance your problem solving. A more complicated problem. Here you know, they had to uh, drive the figure out the sequential motion so they can spell out bay, something like that. And then this one has numbers on them. And then approaching, so they said. Next topic, 
reinforce it. You can see learn more learning about sign by robot again. Talking about the stacking concept, stacking the computer, about queuing. And then as I show that that's an example to the checkout counter line. And then you're ready to go to chapter two about the buck butt. And then they repeat the same uh, three phases with different stages within them again in the manual. So standard two is a little bit thicker, but it's designed the same way. So I won't go into the details. They have music, they have a, a, a bike. Yeah. So that kind of looks exciting.